everybody, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful Wednesday with Brenda. Um, this week we're going to reiterate a few things um, and some things that's come up in the Discord. And this time I'm going to be taking you to the Discord. You guys can see. I got some messages uh, last week when I brought up the Discord. So uh, we'll go ahead and show that again. Y'all. You know, just to go over something that, that has come that I see comes up a lot with uh, involving fluent. Now, again, I'm going to re reiterate this too. This is not a Blender tutorial site, so to speak. Um, it will have tutorials, but it's strictly geared to teaching you Blender, which uh, will be the basics of Blender, and using add-ons, and with the goal of using Blender. To make money that's the bottom line of this whole channel just when you think of blender sith think of blender and making money that's what you need to think no tutorials or anything all that's going to be a part of it but that tutorials are not the driving force of the channel if anything is the driving force of the channel it will be uh, well other than making money it will be add-ons because we're here to make money and add-ons save us time but other than that everything else is fair game anything could be a topic for any week that's about how it goes for this week the topic again because it's the most two requested things on this channel is uh fluent and blender i mean uh, fluent and porn um well uh, fluent material also but fluent and fluent material that's going to be our main uh add-on to model here on this channel um, i will be showing other ones you know because other people are also interested i you know i get a lot of a lot of views which we'll see we're, we're going to look at my analytics here in a minute because a lot of you have been asking about that i keep i keep talking about you know me knowing about what you guys are doing uh you know with your skipping and you know all that stuff and i'm going to go a little bit into that not much uh i go we we do I, I do a deep, 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 deep dive into analytics on my Make Money Online channel over there because those people are looking to start a YouTube channel um, and make money online through affiliate marketing and all kinds of various other means other than Blender. They need, to they need to learn how to analyze what's going on on their channel so they can know what content is working, what content isn't, where they're losing uh, viewers, where they're not losing viewers and all that stuff. So, yeah, we're going to... Here today, we're just going to do a little bit of what I've been telling you guys about uh, porn and fluent and how I know that they're the two driving forces of the channel right right now. That will change, you know, as more and more videos get added. And some of the other add-ons come into play, like uh, Retopo Flow and RAM Tools and Grid Modeler. And as I start getting more videos on other things, then, you know, the statistics will vary. And they vary now, but like I said, we'll go over that and uh here coming up for right now let's get started with a, a little bit of fluent i've went over this before um but you know beginners you know we've all we've, we've all been there um some some people are slower than others at getting their head around you know blender just blender itself forget the add-ons you know of fluent and hard ops and all that. new people you know some people can pick it up quickly others people pick it up average and you know other people you know are a little more slower um, they do pick it up, but not as quick. So, you know, we, I'm, I'm here for uh, everybody. And that's why I help out on the forums. I'm on almost all the major forums, you know, if you're into Blender, on Discord. And don't be afraid. I'm Cyber Sorcerer on Discord, on all my all the channels. So, and you'll see a link to Blender Sith channel and my profile. If you click on my name and my profile comes up, you'll see the YouTube link there. Uh, so don't be afraid to you know ask any questions or anything. First off, let's start over in Discord. I want to start here. To, this is today actually, but again, like I told you, this comes up in other channels and everything. So that's why I'm going over it today. It says hello, I'm new and I have a question. Do I have to apply all modifiers on the site to apply materials to specific elements? You know, and right here, CG said, now understand something. You know, I'm not criticizing or saying anything. You know, CG CG Sep is a is a you know full on hundred percent fluent supporter. Um, I don't even believe he has hard ups on his machine or or has bought hard ups and everything. But he 
He is, you know, sworn, affidavit to, to uh, fluent, and he's a non-destructive modeler, which means he goes, you know, pretty much the whole model in fluent. Now that you can do that, there's people that do that in fluent. There's people that do that in hard ops and box cutter, and you know, there's people that do that in rental. Now there are non-destructive modelers out there. Yeah, it's it all goes by your workflow. You don't know until you open Blender and start working for yourself, working and modeling things yourself to, before you can find out if you can, you know, go all the way without too many problems and wasting time. Don't forget the wasting time part. If you model quicker by just using Fluent to cut your bolt, cut your shapes and everything out and then applying all the ge geometry so you can edit the version, then go that route. Um, remember, this is just an add-on. That's it. <laughs> this is not making you, well, technically it's making you money, but this this is just making you quicker at shaping out your model and putting some detail into it. Uh, that's it. We got a long ways to go yet. You know, you got to you, you got to get into you know finer detail and even finer detail than that. You know, first you got to block out your model, then you start adding in you know, detail, and then smaller detail, and then more detail, and then, you know, then you got to get into, you know, uh, texturing it, and uh, shading it, and putting materials on it, you know, depending on, how, you know, what route you want to go, you know, if you want to get into UVs, or use PBR, you know, and, you know, that's a whole other topic also, but, um, you see, there's a lot more to it, you know, you do not have to, you know, don't think you're handcuffed and say, oh my God, you know, I got to finish this whole, you know, freaking 4 million uh, vertice, you know, robot, you know, influent before I can, you know, go in. No, you can go, you can apply modifiers at any point in time. Don't get in, don't get hung up into this, you know, non-destructive, destructive, you know, workflow. Um, it's whatever works for you. That's the whole point. You're the one modeling it. Not no one, you know, CG Steps are not making your model. Uh, CG Thoughts are not making your model. The Blender Bros aren't making your model. No one's making you. You are making your model. So use your add-ons and Blender and everything the way that best suits you. That's all I got to say, you know, on that topic. But this confuses a lot of people because all these add-ons, we're going to go back here, all these add-ons all of them, RAND tools, every, everybody, work differently. But I'm going to be doing this also. I'm going to be expanding the Blender tutorial uh, section, and we're going to be getting. I'm going to be getting into the the, mo the modifiers and all the shaders, the constraints, and everything because you you, uh, you got to learn these if you're going to get serious about Blender because you're going to be using them, especially if you're going to get into porn because you got to remember porn's not only modeling. It's characters, it's rigging, it's clothing, it's animation, it's video editing, you know, it's the whole shebang, you know, that's everything. So you are going to be covering all of these things, and there's going to be add-ons in every single one. There's going to be animation add-ons, there's going to be rigging add-ons, there's going to be, of course, material add-ons, there's going to be video editing add-ons, you know, you're going to have add-ons in every single part of it. They don't invent new thing, you know. Fluent and hard ops and you know box cutters, you know, when when you do a bullion or when you cut a shape or when you, they're not inventing something out of thin air. They they are using all the stuff that you should know inside and out. Not that oh oh yeah that's a bullion. No, you need to know every single setting in bullions and solidify and everything else. Same with shaders. You need to know everything about all of the shaders, the Voronoi and the, the texture shader, all the different settings and what they do and everything. Because when the met, when the mo either when the add-on screws up and gives you an error or you do something and it's not going the way you want it or you you don't have the look that you want, you need to know how to finesse the settings and stuff. In the mod and whatever it is, the constraint, the modifier, whatever you're working in, the material, and everything, to get the look that you want. And the only way you're going to do this is not by asking questions on Discord. Um, get in there, start moving 
sliders around, start changing numbers, and seeing what happens to your image. That's the only way you're going to learn is, as Nike says, just do it. You know, it's like learning geo, geo nodes. You know, the, only, the best way to learn it is just, you know, spend a day or a weekend, open up Blender, and spend the whole weekend, Friday to Sunday, in geo nodes. You know, put a shape in the 3D window here, open up geo nodes, and one by one, add nodes, then go in and move sliders and do things and see what happens. And oh, oh, that's what happened. Oh, look what that does. And everything. And slowly you'll pick it up. That's how you learn. <laughs> Sorry to say, but you know, and you just get you get quicker and quicker at it. The more you see things and go over things and do them. With that, let's get started on our first thing here. Now that we're you know a good twenty minutes or so into this, and I've lost about probably I'd say sixty percent of you, sixty seventy percent of you by now. So that's good if you're still here. But let's. Uh, do I want? To, yeah, we'll start with that. Why not? Let's just put out something real quick here. Now, there's a reason that I'm offsetting this to the top. All right there. Then we'll go ahead and solve it. Okay. Now you see we got to solidify here. Now, we're going to go in here. We're going to change this for a minute. I'm going to go to bevel. I'm going to turn off those and one by one. I want to turn these on down here. So we get this little thing going on and bring them together. I could turn on clipping, but that's another thing entirely. We'll go over that later. And what we got here, eh, yeah, that looks good. But anyway, that's a quick way to put out this little half moon, sh half shape thing here. And yeah, you know, we could go in and make something cool out of this. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for these modifiers. Because what I want to show you here, so I, I told the person, yeah, basically the whole add-on works by using modifiers. So you don't really have any actual geometry until you apply them all. But the material is on your model because it's just a plane with a solidify applied to it. Now, naturally, you know, CG comes back. You don't need to apply everything. If you assign a material to the bowling cutter and then add the same material on a second slot to the main object, it works. Now, this is fine for people like me. You know, when you're teaching total new people, you know, you got to teach differently, you know, and that's what I'm used to. I'm teaching, I'm used to teaching people that have never even heard of 3D before or seen a 3D program of any kind. They don't know what slots are. They don't even know what a bowling is. You know, they're here learning this and everything, and that one little sentence, or two little sentences, whatever, but that one little short reply that he has there has, has them confused already. Then you look at it, you know, right here, you know, you can see his green highlighted object. Everything else is red. Um, a beginner won't know exactly what that is, what, what's going on here. Okay, what's doing what? Is the red active or is the green active? You know, what? And this can be changed. You know, you can go, we'll bring it up here. We can go into our interface, our themes here, and 3D themes and stuff, and we can change all of it, everything. We can change everything about Blender. And all, you know, even these lines and every all these colors and all that stuff could be changed. So we, you don't even know what's that. You know, logic tells you, okay, the green is active and the red's not. But you know, it depends on who you're watching. You know, even Blender. See, my Blender looks different than default because I got a theme on it. And every, you know, other people have some pretty. Some people have some pretty wild themes. You know, and everything. So don't go by. Don't. I, that's another thing. Don't go by what something looks like. He gives you a clue here because he's got more than one. You know, you can go through and you can see. Okay, now he's got a finished top, finished picture here. We can see that you know most of this is orange. You know, this is this is black, gray, whatever you want to say. And so is that. That's our green part that we was what that we watched, and the inside of this triangle here. So if we go back, now we know 
this is black and this part up here outside is black and this inside is going to be black the other parts are going to be orange when we go to the next one we can see that those parts are green now but we have another material you see is that an orange see back here we only had black which was what was went on to this one and this is the slot that he was talking about the material slot when you add another material you add another slot so now this is the orange has been added and that's what he's put on this here and then when he goes to rendered or shaded whatever this is what the look that he gets another thing to keep in mind when I told when I replied to him and told him everything is just a plane well that's what it is if you look over here in the modifiers you know what this has come up before let me increase my resolution here a little bit this might help you some of you guys to see it'll give me a smaller workspace but I can handle it but you see right here we got a first bevel second bevel third bevel fourth bevel and then our solidifier um, the first bevel and second bevel are red and they're not highlighted here when I turn them on you don't see nothing and you're like what the hell you know like what what the, what are these going you know what are these going to and everything. well that's because I did I took I got rid of them I changed them they were they were here originally because this was a square or rectangle whichever you prefer but but I got rid of the two up here by rounding them by beveling them and here's our bevels now we can delete this now you might think well can I get rid of this well you already can see that you turn it on and you turn them off and nothing happens so that tells you already that these are useless you've already done them and see if I go down here to the active ones you can see okay that comes that's not round no more so you know that these are all right they just been changed to this beveled vertices because that's what we did I took I took one ver vertice you know, the one that I highlighted with the X key and I beveled that corner then I went over and grabbed the other one and beveled that corner and brought them together so all, all I did here was a be I beveled two vertices and that's it and left the other two normal now you can do that even when you hit s to go to shape and you create a fancy shape every corner of your shape that you have will have a vertice and you can do it independently you can make different uh, width bevels different profiles and everything um, with fluent it takes a little uh, practice and everything to, to learn to do that you know to get really complicated in it but uh, like I said with time you'll you'll pick it up in time but we can get rid of these by just clicking the X uh, right here but some people bring up this over here remove unused bowling objects and you know you're not thinking about it real quick you look at it and you think you know all right that should work well if I go over here and I use that and I click it you see nothing happens and I hear by the key key error bowling object not found and you go back over here and you think about it for a minute and you stare at it and you see right here let me open this up a little bit wider bevel these are bevels we do not have any bowlings in this as of yet so it's not going to move these because they're bevels so you have to manually just click the X and get rid of them and like I, we're back here we got rid of a little bit of space and now you know nothing's happened here but our modifier list has you know got a little more organized and if you're making a if you're making you know a big object you know if you're making something fancy and everything this you know let me move this up here this bowling list could be huge and you could have a lot of those things you know you could have a lot of these unused you know and everything and now that you know you can clean them up you just clean them up you know and everything and you can or reorganize your modifier list to where only everything that's in here is active now the solidify what I told him over here that everything is just a plane well if I get rid of this solidify here 
You see, that's all that is. When I created this, all I did was just created a square and put a solidify on it. And you, if you remember when I showed you the modifier list, when I after I did that, solidify was the only thing here. Now, Fluent reordered it. Fluent put the bevels on top of the solidify instead of putting them on the bottom because that wouldn't work. You can't, you know, solidify something and then bevel it. And this is why, one of the reasons why, right here, because there ain't nothing to bevel. You know, you might think, you know, you have all the vertices out here in the square, if I turn this back on, you might think we had this one and this one and this one down here and this one down. No, we didn't. We didn't have none of this stuff on the top. All we have were four verts right here and then a plane. That was all we started with. And we, we beveled two of the verts. And then we got this shape. Then after we had this shape, we threw a solidifier on it. Now remember, we're still in modifiers here. Now, hard ops, as I showed you in another video, hard ops can still cut this. I can go into hard ops and cut a bowling right here into this, and it'll be fine. Because this hell happens in in the uh, code. All all the things that Fluent did right here and everything, hard ops can can fig, can detect and know something is here. But Blender itself. If you go into edit mode, you see there's nothing here. You see, I'm not select. I'm, I'm selecting it, and nothing is selecting. That's because there's nothing here to select. But I've showed you this before. Watch along the bottom right here when I click down here where this plane is. You see that how that lit up white? That's because my plane is here. That is the only physical thing that is here right now. Now, if this was a cube and box cutter. The whole thing would be here because box cutter doesn't create a box cutter object like flu this is a fluent object right now and you know that's why back in edit mode that's why I can still go in here and change and see and get my menu back because I haven't applied everything yet. now I can I can't go in here and apply it two different ways, you know, like that. One way will give me a completed, auto-completed one and take me into all of them applied to where if I screwed it up, I can go back and, you know, that's down the road. That's getting in, you know, to bigger territory and fluent, you know, and that'd be down the road. But I hope you guys get the point of what is going on with all of these add-ons. They, all of them are going to use, um, all, everything over here physics modifiers your constraints and all that stuff depending on you know what kind of add-on you got and if, you know, if it's a rigging add-on it's gonna get it, it's gonna do the posing and the IK bones and you know all that it's gonna use the same thing that you're using it's just automating it all but when a problem happens it's not the add-on understand that don't go you know you don't go into the auto rig discord channel and say my bones are screwing up you know, the add-on's fucking up, you know, so what's happening to my thing right now? Well, you know, don't worry about going online and asking some, you know, figure this out yourself. This is what you want. You want to be a 3D artist, you know, you, or, or a blender. You got to go into your modifier or your physics or wherever it is that's giving you the problem. Look at, open up, open things up, look at, look at everything that's going on and figure out what the problem is. If you know all of these settings, if you know what hard normals is and all of that stuff and everything, you know, profiles, if you understand what this does and what it's supposed to do and all, you know, if you under, if you know all this stuff, you don't need to ask anybody. Oh, <laughs> I see right there. I hit the wrong button and messed this up right here. Now, someone might have done that and not noticed it, not even know they hit a button over here. Then they get back to their model and they see this. And guess what? The, you know what they're going to do? They're not going to know that they did it. And they're going to think Fluent did this. And guess what? They're going to come into the Discord channel and say, look at this. I had a, I had a, I round, I, I rounded this corner right here, you know, and, I, and all of a sudden I go back and, and this is, I don't know how this got here and everything. You know, 
and they they expect someone in the Discord to know. You know, they don't know, they don't know that you went over here and opened this up and went looking in here, clicking around. They're going to be like, well, how did he get that? You know, did he purposely cut that and not you know not know it, or did Fluent actually do? You know, I don't know what it could have done, but you know, did it actually do that? You know, they've got no idea. You know, they're more lost than you are because they don't realize. You know, if you was to tell them. No, not leave it at that. But if you was to tell them, I did go over here and open these up and look around in there, you know. And then all of a sudden, when I came back, you know, this happened, but and I don't know what I did. You know, can someone tell? No, they don't want. They don't want to say that. You know, <laughs> that, that's that's not what they want to say. They want to blame it on something except them. So why you blame it? You blame it on the add-on. Yes, that's all there. Is, you know, that's all there is about this. You know, particular thing here. Um. Well, I, let's just, before moving on, let's uh, show you guys here. Before f fixing this out, I did it, you know, so quick. Let me show you guys what I, you know, you can tell, you know, these are bevels. You know, from, from here to here are my bevel. This is the start of this side of the bevel, and it goes all the way around, and it would end right here. There's an imaginary line right across here and Blender, and that's why it is right there because... This half of it is different than this half back here, and Blender knows that. It knows that I got a bevel going on out here, and it thinks that I want to customize this bevel. Now, it might look like I got a mirror here, but it's not a mirror because this side's not the same way. So it didn't mirror, but it did, it's lost. Right here, it gets lost. And remember what... You know, you know, you might not know what you did over here, but if you know Blender and bevels and all that stuff, and what I just told, what uh, what I told you about Blender, there's only a plane here. That's it. Um, you might all you gotta do is just sit here and think about it for a second. That's all you need to do, and you're like, okay, it's only half of this, and all I did was bevel two vertices. I beveled this vertice, and I beveled this vertice. So something about this vert. Blender is wanting to do something else, or it thinks I want to do something else, and it doesn't know what. So if we go back over here, and you look, profile, and you're like, okay, this could be a profile. And you're like, okay, that should be straight. Oh, well, that is straight. Oh, this is on custom. Wait, let me make sure. We're just going to, like I said, you always want to make sure, so I'll go to the other one here. Open the profile. No, it's not on cut. It's on this one. So, what happens if I just switch over to here? Oh, there it is. That's all that happened. You see, when I kick on that, it switched. It thinks I want to make a custom profile here, but I don't. So, I go back to that. And that's how, you know, you see how quick that was? Now, this could have took you a whole day to figure out. Because you'd have to go to the, to the Discord channel and post your picture in there and wait for someone to see it and figure it out and everything like that. And, you know, not, you don't get, hardly ever do you get an answer right away. Sometimes you do. You know, it depends on what day and how busy the, you know, how many people are in the Discord. In the middle of the day, you know, between like 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock or so like it is now, you know, a lot of people are at work and not home yet. The, the Discord is a little slow in some channels, but, yeah, it could have took you a while to figure this out and... You could have done it if you knew Blender, if you knew Bevels, if you knew how to figure, look at things and figure them out and everything. You know, like I told you, you figure, I figured it out right there, you know, in five seconds, ten seconds, you know. And it would have saved you a lot of time. <laughs> so, that's this is why I'm going to be doing and covering, you know, all the constraints, physics, and, you know, all that stuff, all the modifiers and everything. So, you guys can work with all these add-ons and everything yourselves and figure out the problem because this gets this is simple now even even what uh cg did over here this is still simple when you get into modeling you're going to be getting in depending especially if you're going to be freestyling because you're going to get some freestyling work that is going to be crazy and you're going to need all of your skills to learn how to do it. And Blender Brothers is a good example of that. Let me go up here 
Um, by the way, this is their coaching program, Blender Bros Coaching. And I help out here. Um, with I also help out in their regular Blender, Blender Bros channel. Um, I'm an admin here, so feel free to message me. You know, if you have any questions you know, about Hard Ops or any of their courses, I have all their courses. I went through all their courses many years ago. This is when they were first starting out because I've got them all. But um, look at this right here uh, with uh, Rui. Look at these shapes. He did, he did this with box cutter. Yes, you can do it with Fluent. You can do it with both. You, as a beginner, are going to have a hell of a time because this is advanced and you're going to you're going to have to get out you're going to have to apply all your geometry because vertices are going to get into overlapping each other they're going to be copied from one modifier to another which is going to add vertices to your geometry that you you can't see until you go into edit mode and to fix them the verts are going to have to be there the sim the, the, the simple solution both in hard ops and and fluent here you know we're cutting the you know cutting the line through your model and thinking that's going to work no because when you get into things like there's too many vertices too many faces too many small details and the add-on is just going to be lost it's got, not going to know exactly where you're wanting to fix or put the cut to fix the the bowling or the vert and everything now mesh machine and uh, machine tools will help out a lot in this cleanup. And machine tools is free. Mesh machine is not, but mesh machine will help out tremendously when you get into doing this stuff here. You know, and not so much that. But right here, this also, Josh. You know, and this right here, you know, really just went crazy with this. But you know, when you get into this kind of modeling, you know, the non-destructive thing and sticking with uh, any add-on gets crazy to a certain point. At some point, you're going to have to go to geometry and get in and start fixing things. So that's why I say don't get hunkered down into, oh, you know, I bought I bought this, you know, I bought Fluent or I bought Harla, you know, so i got to finish this whole model and, and Fluent or Harla. Because you know, because that's just that's just how it has to be. You know, it can't be any other way. No, you just have to finish the model. Period. Stop. The, stop right there. Finish the model. Get it completed. Get renders of it. Marketing renders so you can sell it, and get it on a damn site so you can put a price tag on it and start selling the damn thing, instead of playing around with it, thinking that it has to be complete, totally completed, and to. This is not a fluent or hard ops contest. You know, you're not given some outrageous model with a quadzillion uh, tries or faces on it and saying, you know, the goal of this contest is you got to finish this solely in fluent. You know, it's not what you're doing here. You're, you are completing a product to sell. And that is the goal. How you get there doesn't matter. Just get there. So, you know, with that, just keep that in mind. Now, what I was telling you guys, you know, about uh, the, the channel here, you can see 192 views in the last 48 hours. I got two hours, two views just in the last hour that I, that we've been sitting here. But um, and this this goes every hour. Next hour is going to be two or three or five. So it varies. But over here. Let's go through this to take it. When I tell you, when you guys hear me say, you know, I've been looking at my stats and everything, this is what I've been doing. The top content. If you look through these, the top 10 right here, right now, you know, it's, it's only two things. It's porn and fluent. That's all it is. Fluent materializer or fluent power trip. That's it. That's all they are. Now we can verify this going over here to our content tab and you know you, you look at this right here key moments for audience retention the clean panels add-on 55 percent are still watching at the 30 second mark and you know, I, I could go through each one of these you know like that but 
The point is, you see this slope right here? Now it's slowly going down. Now that tells you a lot, and like I told you, I go deep diving into this, but we're gonna go deep diving into one part right here in the Make Money Online. Here's one of the porn ones, the Make Money Online with 3D porn one. Now you see, this drops off tremendously right here, and then levels out to about 10, around nine to 12 percent of people watching all the way through and that's that's the people that are here to learn porn not this number way up here you know that's just all that's just all the people coming here from search and stuff as you can see down here YouTube search 42 percent and then the browse feature 26 percent but that's next but look at this look at this little line right here we get a big hump right here then it goes down then a couple more small ones right there then another big one right there I'm gonna give you guys two guesses on what are at these two big humps go to the first one here click it a good-looking woman go to the second one here click it tits was that really too hard to figure out what was going to be at those two stopped moments? <laughs> and it's things like this and other things, like I tell you, when you go through all the other ones, like this one right here, no porn. See, this one's a little bit different. You know, and here's porn part two. Now, look at this one. This has got some uh, peaks and valleys in it. And every, you know, this tells the whole story here. We go into fluent. You see fluence. We can do the same thing. See where people are going and fluent here? And what's happening? And like I said, other stuff, we can dig down more. There's more to all of the to all of this. Even in these little spots right here that you might think is nothing, uh, we need to go into audience and uh, research right here to, to uh, analyze those more. But overall, right here I showed you this. Uh, external, we don't really need to get into. You can see 53% is coming from Google search. So I'm coming up on a lot in Google and Discord, almost 3% coming from Discord. But YouTube search, look at this. Number one, 3D porn. Then fluent materializer. Blender porn. How to make mu how to make porn in Blender. And then just regular straight porn. Now you know the suggested video, you know when you're watching a video and you got all your suggested videos over here? I'm getting views from that too. Let's see where that's coming from. Look at this. All of this from suggest well what's porn video 3D. Sexy mummy porn 18 plus. Triple X 18 video. Okay, never mind about that. <laughs> How to earn money by uploading sex videos. Porn sex hot girls 3D. These are some of the searches that people have searched on and are watching these videos on these searches and my video my porn videos are in the suggested area and right here porno video 3d 12 percent of the people that have searched on this and watched the video have came to my channel through the uh, suggested video on that search and that's how a lot of my unnecessary views are getting here because they're not coming here to learn how to make money on 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 porn you know, or, or blender or any of that they're looking for porn and that's why those two big humps in that statistics graph and they were both stopped on either a good-looking woman or some nudity of some kind because that's what they're looking for <laughs> and they're they're just searching you know they're, they got their little mouse right here if you know on YouTube where you can do this we can just go through like this and you get the little thumbnail that's all they're going through like going through then they oh wait a minute what was that and they go back a little bit or like oh hey there's some tits and they click and that's why I'm getting a view there and it's, it's all this other part before it is being skipped so that's covering analytics um, for now as far as that goes and I can say we see where, where we got on views Let's go take a look at views total. Oh, 22,000 
so far on the channel. 170 subscribers. When was the last subscriber? 12 hours ago, the last subscriber. A comment one day ago. Another subscriber three days ago. So, we are interesting some people, but just not everybody that comes here. But with that, I think I've covered everything uh, for this week for so far. Um, and like I said, maybe we'll get going and pulling us back to an extent. Um, the serious stuff I got in my in the membership. You, know, you guys are going to have to pay for the membership to do that. I'm not going to do the Patreon for that because I'm just going to host it myself because of the whole Vimeo thing, you know, and all that's going on with them. I'm just going to host it myself and put it behind a, a membership site, you know, because we need to get in, you know, the modeling stuff that I'm going to be doing for that, I can do it here on YouTube and stuff, but for the actual porn stuff where we get into actually showing, you know, body parts and animations and, you know, how to do them and everything like that, you know, that stuff's not going to go on YouTube. So that has to be put behind the paywall. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, <laughs> for those of you that are still here, I don't know who's, well, not not exactly no, but I don't know how many are still here when I look at the statistics for this video in a week or two. Um, so, again, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave any comments or anything, likes and all that. Subscribe, hit the button and all that below. And we'll see you guys uh, next week.